Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna switch it up and have a little fun with my Instagram curl friends. If you're not following me, I don't know what you're waiting for. Follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. But I put a little questionnaire in my story and I asked you guys, what are some assumptions you have about me? Like just looking at me, just watching my videos, what would you assume? And um, <laughs> I got some very, very interesting assumptions. So I'm going to go over these and clarify some of the crazy ones. Let's have some fun. You look tough, but you crumble inside when someone criticizes you. Dang, straight out the gate. <laughs> I mean, she's not that wrong though. I mean, I know what I should do and I know I shouldn't care about other people's opinions, but I mean, I think we all know that but we all sort of kind of still do care what other people think about us. Um, I don't know about crumble inside, but I get a little annoyed, but then I just try not to let it fester for too long. This is not the career to let negative comments get you down. Your curls are easy to manage. Well, they're on vacation today, as you can see, but I don't really have a hard time with my hair because I've always loved my curls and I figured out what works and once you figure out what works for your hair and you're not still in the experimental stage, things do get pretty easy. Wash days still aren't fun, but I'm really trying to break the stigma that having curly hair is harder than having straight hair. Honestly, I had to use a curling wand just to get curls on this wig. That was doing too much. You are so ready to start planning for baby number two. You prioritize being there for your family and you are very generous with helping others. True, sometimes a little too much. I do put others before myself, so I'm trying to work on that whole self-love thing right now. We'll see how that goes. You're loud. I don't know what you're talking about. You're sarcastic. I don't know what you're talking about. You've always been a confident person. No, I used to have extremely severe acne. I've always been very self-conscious because of my acne on my face. I had acne on my back. I had acne on my chest. Um, before I really knew what to do with my hair, my hair was frizzy. I had braces for four years. So put all that together, yeah. <laughs> I definitely had the awkward phase that I had to glow up from. That you've never experienced frizz in your life. Girl, please. You're an organized person until someone opens a drawer in your house, true, or a closet. <laughs> Stay out of there. You waited until you were married to lose your V card. Oh, we're getting juicy. We're getting juicy. Um, no, I didn't. I was trying to. I had every intent to wait and that was the goal and that's why I think I was single for so long because I would straight up tell guys, straight up like, hey, nice to meet you, I'm not gonna have sex with you. Um, and then I was with my second boyfriend for two years and then it happened and I actually cried after not because like I didn't like it or hurt or anything but um I was just so disappointed in myself that I didn't hold on to my goal of waiting and that was my first time <laughs> not a very cute romantic story I assume that you've never been in a fist fight true I've never been in a fist fight the closest thing I've ever been in a fight with is that one girl, she was just a bully. I don't even know how it started, but she pulled my hair, so then I pulled her hair, and then she pulled my hair, and we both were just down here like this, like, you let go, no, you let go, no, you let go. And then I think I probably let go first, and then that was my most um, fighting experience. Don't fight, kids, stay in school. You can't wait to throw parties for Jalen. So true! Quarantine tried to like take that away from me, but as soon as he can like jump, we're getting moon bounces, we're getting Power Rangers. Well, not Power Rangers, he doesn't like Power Rangers. Coco Melon, better come to my house, Coco Melon. All the characters, I want the whole family. You like to win at everything, true. I'm very competitive and I don't like to lose. You're a goody two shoes and never have been in trouble. To a degree, for majority of my life, I've been a goody two shoes. I do not like to get in trouble. I don't really like to take risks that can get me hurt or in trouble. Um, that's why I've never done drugs. My strongest drug has probably been like Tylenol. <laughs> um, I've never been grounded and I've been a teacher's pet. But I'm not perfect and later in life, I've made more 
riskier decisions. You want at least two more babies. Here's the thing, I don't want an odd number because when you go to Disneyland, you have an odd kid out, you know? So I want either two kids or four kids. If we have five, I gotta go to six. You would be fun to club or party with, true. Fun fact, I used to be a club promoter. Like I was going to all age clubs and then 18 and up clubs. And then by the time I was 21, I was almost so over it that I didn't even club that much in my 21 years. So yeah, I was definitely all up in the club scene. Shout out to Arena. If you know, you know. You have lots of patience. I have patience with people, but with nothing else. Like I hate lines. As you guys may know, I am highly allergic to lines. I'll start breaking out in hives. So I don't like waiting for things or things to happen or like, I don't know, that kind of stuff. But when it comes to people like pressing me, I have patience for humans to a certain extent. You're bossy. Yes, I am. Taurus gang, gang, gang. You're the type to pretend that you are okay when you're actually not. Wow, Madam Cleo over here reading all up in my aura. You're right though. Something I'm trying to work on, even with this video, cause I'm trying to show you guys like the real me. I, there's been times where like, I have posted pictures of me smiling on Instagram, like while I'm wiping tears off my face because I have to post it for like a brand deal or whatever it may be. But, I've had a very, very, very rough last two years, um, still struggling, and honestly, I'm in therapy. So there's that. So yeah, there's times where I like to, you know, be positive on camera, I'm happy on Instagram, but like I said, I'm not perfect, and I still got issues I'm working through, and there's some times where I'm not okay but I'm very hard on myself and I don't like to make excuses. So I like to push through. It's not very healthy. I don't recommend it, but you got me. That you have perfect hair, next person. That your hair is perfect, no product will ruin it. No guys, I just don't make videos when my hair looks like poop. That's all there is to it. You despise it when things don't go your way. True. Taurus gang, gang, gang. You stay highly organized. <laughs> That's cute. It's real cute. Gotcha. You're funny as hell and dope to hang with. I'm not gonna argue with you. You make a ton of money with your social media success. The next person says, I assume that you are rich. This is what you call the Bow Wow Challenge? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not rich. I will be one day. Mark my but I am financially stable and I am happy with the success that my social media and YouTube has brought me. But completely honest, Royce and I live at home. We live in the guest house of his parents, which is a huge blessing living in California because in order to get an ugly house, you have to have like at least 800,000 to a million dollars. I've seen hideous houses for $1 million. So in order for me to stay here and have the home that's like at least slightly Instagrammable, I have to keep working and keep saving. So I'm very grateful to be living here so I can save up money. So hopefully Royce and I can get our own home maybe like next year, we'll see. But I am very frugal. I like discounts, I like sales. I have expensive taste, but if there's a coupon, best believe I'm gonna use it. Fun fact, uh, my studio is also in my garage and it's like 106 today and this wig is heavy and I'm sweating. So if you see like a bead of sweat fall down my face or I get a little shiny, it's because I'm literally dying. You're a white wine girl. I actually don't like wine. I don't like the taste, but I am down for some tequila. You're actually not fond of networking. You're shy and introvert, but you do it for work. Actually, no, I am 100% an extrovert and I love networking. I like talking to people because of my previous jobs in marketing. I used to work in auto shows and I'd be like those people try to get you to come up and sign up for like a free t-shirt or whatever it may be. So I'm very comfortable just approaching people and talking to them and starting conversation. And networking, especially in LA is so important. So I literally can't be an introvert for my job and I'm just not. Taurus gang, gang, gang. 
I assume that you will stop YouTube soon. No, 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 no. I don't want to stop YouTube. But what I do wanna do is stop making the same type of videos every week. I know you guys love me for my curly hair, I know. But I do believe that I have more to offer than just curls, whether it be skincare, whether it be fashion, whatever. I just want to start branching out with different types of videos like this one to keep things interesting. You actually prefer to wear your hair straight? Ha! <laughs> no, that would be the biggest plot twist and lie of all time. If that was the case, I just canceled myself. You're a sex addict. <laughs> I'd like to know how you came to that conclusion. Next question. I assume that you were bougie until I started following you here and nope, you're dope. <laughs> I mean, I have bougie tendencies. I have bougie taste, but like I said, I'm also down for a coupon. I'm down to earth. If we gotta buy 10 to get a dollar off, I'm gonna do it. I assume you love Jesus, family, and friends. True, true, and true. I assume that you always wanted to be a pop star. You are correct. I've actually always wanted to be a singer, but now I just support her instead. <laughs> um, but God said, I'm not gonna give you a voice, like a singing voice. So I was like, oh, you're right. I shouldn't do this. But if I could sing, oh, I would kill the game. Just know I would kill the game. You didn't date much before Royce. Ooh. Here's the thing. I didn't have my first boyfriend until my junior year in high school. And then I probably had a dry spell until I really got on MySpace. And I met a lot of guys on MySpace. <laughs> so I've never experienced the whole dating app because all that came after Royce and I were together or engaged or whatever. So I don't know about the swipe left, swipe right situation, but I do know about being poked on Facebook and um, meeting people on MySpace. It was probably very dangerous to do so now that I think about it. But we didn't know the internet was dangerous at that time. I don't recommend that. But I went on like a lot of dates with guys. Not a lot. I, mm, yeah, okay. Probably a lot of dates, but I've only had two official boyfriends before Royce. You've always been a night owl. Yes, my whole family is a night owl. I could literally call my dad at 2 a.m. and he'd be like, what's up? <laughs> so I get it from my family. You are a very energetic person, but also really lazy. You're right. I'm not gonna argue with you. I am energetic, but I, I, I do get very lazy, hence why I'm usually editing until 3 a.m. I'm a procrastinator. You don't use curse words. I'm glad you brought this up because I do. In my everyday life when I'm talking to friends, you know, one will slip out here and there. I wouldn't say I have a potty mouth per se, but I do try to keep my content clean, PG, kid friendly, like Target Disney, approved but if i'm being completely honest that's something that i kind of want to talk to you guys about because <sighs> i don't know it's not it'd be different if i didn't cuss at all so i just don't cuss in my content but i do and i actually listen to very very ratchet music <laughs> i can't even tell you the title of my favorite song because it's that dirty so my dilemma is there's many times where I'm like listening to music or I want to do a TikTok or a reel, but then there's cursing in it. So I'm like, mm, I really want to do this trend because the transitions are dope, but there's some curse words in it and I don't want to make people mad. But the other hand, people like, you know, y'all grown, you can hear a bad word and you'll be able to survive. But then there's the other person that's like, oh, my kid's in the room. I didn't know I try to watch your content. Like, I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts, like for real, for real. Would you like cancel me if I used a song that had a bad word in it? If a word slipped out here or there in my story, maybe if I'm showing my friends and my friends curse in the background instead of me deleting the whole frame like I normally do. Is it just like, okay, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna be here and pretend like I've never said a bad word. I don't, you know, use any curse words in my social media content but it's also kind of feeling like I'm not really being genuine 
because I'm like filtering myself so much. Especially when it comes to music because I listen to really ratchet stuff. So let me know your honest thoughts in the comments. Please help me out. You've got a big fancy house, you're rich, and you've got a lot of money. Once again, it is a big fancy house, but it's not mine. One day though. You're tall, yes-ish. I'm 5'8", so I think I'm, I am tall, but I'm not like, you know, six feet or anything. But yes, I think the definition of tall would be anybody that struggles to find long pants. And anyone that gets really excited when they do find pants that touch the floor. It's an amazing you started an OnlyFans after your nip slip video. <laughs> Some of y'all don't even know about the nip slip video because you either A, don't follow R&B fan where things get real wild on our family channel um, or my Instagram stories, but I was breastfeeding and I didn't know the camera was on at the end of the video and I just had my whole boob out on YouTube. <laughs> I did delete the video because who knows what people might do with the internet. You just. Luckily, I think only moms were watching, so a lot of people didn't even notice. But no, I did not start an OnlyFans. <laughs> you funny, April. You funny. You miss getting your nails done. Sort of, kind of. I'm really becoming a fan of press-ons. Like, look at these. These are cute, and they're like $7, and I did them in about seven minutes. So I'm slowly becoming team press-on. You're not a morning person. Absolutely not. I assume you went through a phase where you hated your hair. Actually, no, I'm like a unicorn. I'm one of the rare people that just always loved my hair. Was it always cute? No, but I never like had that urge of having to straighten it all the time because I really did it. Going back to me being lazy, it would take too long. I'm not gonna sit here for three hours and then I have to hide from the rain, sprinklers, and humidity. No. You still get nervous before going on video each time. No, it's been like nine years. If I'm still nervous, this ain't the job for me. So hot. You didn't go to college. Damn, what's that supposed to mean? You don't think I'm educated? <laughs> I did go to college. I went to Cal State Northridge. See, son, matadors. I don't even know if that's our thing. Um, I did go to college. And I majored in cinema and television arts with the emphasis in multimedia production, which kind of worked out. Multimedia, because you can't only major in YouTube. But um, I went to CSUN, but I really got my college experience from UC Santa Barbara. Shout out to the Gauchos. <laughs> That's what you guys are called, right? I'm pretty sure. My best friend went to Santa Barbara and they would party every single weekend. So I would go to school in Northridge and then I would drive to SB for my college experience. So it's like I got to go to Santa Barbara without having to pay the tuition. I assume that you live in the forest or jungle, something with all those animals in and around the casa. I could, I could see why you would assume that. <laughs> We have a lot of raccoons. If you guys missed my raccoon journey of the raccoons getting in the house, you should really follow me on Instagram. We have raccoons, we have lizards, we have squirrels, we have coyotes. Um, there's probably some mountain lions if you go a little bit higher up. Um, my parents found a turtle, so now we have a tortoise in the house. <laughs> You're a lightweight when it comes to drinking alcoholic beverages. Dick. Here's the thing. I was against drinking for a very long time. Like on my 21st birthday, all of my friends got drunk in my party bus, except for me. I was babysitting everybody. Never liked the taste. I always saw people like drunk and throwing up. I was like, why would I want to live like that? Like there's nothing appealing about you drinking alcohol. I just didn't get it. And then I learned about like pina coladas and Midori sours. And then I'd only have a drink like when I'm in Vegas or by the pool. And then slowly but surely I started drinking a little bit more, a little bit more, and then that's how it happens. But because I didn't like the look of how alcohol makes you, I'm such a control freak. So thinking that an alcoholic beverage can change or alter my decision making. And like, if I woke up and didn't know what I did last night, that would drive me crazy. <laughs> I need to know what I'm doing at all times. And if I'm not in control of my own body or my movements, I'm going to freak out. So I think because of that, even when I do drink, I'll get like laughy and like giggly. Laughy, it's not a word. Giggly is the word. But I'm still like in control of what I'm doing. So you won't see me like sloppy and you won't see me pass out and you won't see me throw up. I assume you won for best hair in high school. 
I won for best hair in middle school, and my best friend Cindy won for best hair in high school. In high school, I ran for most likely to become a celebrity. So, I have a reputation to hold up to, so make sure you guys keep subscribing. Can't let my high school down. They counted on me. I'm in the yearbook. You are an only child. Nope, I have a younger sister and a younger brother. I am the oldest. That you're a Christian. Yes, I am. And from some of these answers, you might think that some of my decisions are not very Christian-like, but that's why I need Jesus, because I'm not perfect. I assume that you will retry Diva Curl. Okay, we're spilling the tea in this video, right? Let's just let's just keep it real. Um, I did notice that they have a little rebranding situation going on. They got some new packaging. Apparently some new ingredients. Apparently everything is new, which is kind of interesting if nothing was wrong in the first place. But I don't know, guys. I'm all about forgiveness. I'm sure the new products are fine, but do I need them? Do I need to try the products when I have 10 billion other ones to try? I don't know. Would you guys want me to try them? I don't think you would, but you can let me know. But I really don't think you would. I'll let you decide what I do with that. That you want a girl after Jalen. I do want a girl for selfish, curly hair, fashion matching reasons. But now that I have Jalen, I'm also open to having a boy so he has another boy to play with. And then I could also just use all the other boy things that I have already. You can't stand white people. What? Literally, my mom is white and she is my favorite person in the world. I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I have a black friend, but like, I'm literally half white. So like, what are you talking about? That you were a dancer, cheerleader, or did gymnastics when you were younger. See, you already know. Dancer, not gymnastics, hated cheerleading. Our cheerleading team was so lame. Sorry if anyone's watching from Granada. But the swag level was just not there. Our school wouldn't let us do anything. We couldn't pick any like cool songs. It was just very light, boring, and cheer. No swag. So that's why I created the hip hop club. Whew, okay, I think that was enough. Those were a lot of great assumptions. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about me. Uh, a lot of clarification within these. Let me know what you're most surprised about. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna know about me and let me know how I can show these sides of my personality more in my videos and in my Instagram. I want what you see on Instagram and YouTube to be a better, actual, accurate representation of who I am as a person. So fortunately, there weren't too many bad assumptions. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job of showing you guys who I really am. And that's what I'm just gonna be working on for the remainder of the year during my Switch It Up challenge, is switch it up and be more authentic to myself, even if that kind of breaks some of the perfection that you guys think I have, it's like you don't think I do certain things when I do. So I apologize in advance if I let you down, but this is the real me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.